Hey, hey you, yeah, you listening, uh, you bored? Have you already binge watched all the content your entire country has to offer? Well, good news is here. With ExpressVPN, you can access all the other countries' content. I've been uh, using ExpressVPN to binge watch Doctor Who, which is on UK Netflix. Uh, oh, Doctor Who on the UK Netflix. Okay, that wasn't great. Because I'm in America, but I can watch that. It's not available here unless you use ExpressVPN. It's so simple to do. Just fire up the ExpressVPN app, change your location to the UK, refresh Netflix, and bada bing, bada ba. Okay? Do you love anime? Use ExpressVPN to access Japanese Netflix. But it's not just Netflix. ExpressVPN works with any streaming surface, Hulu, BBC iPlayer, YouTube, so on. There are hundreds of VPNs out there, but the reason I use ExpressVPN to watch shows is because it's ridiculously fast. There's never any buffering or lag, and you can stream in HD. Guys, that's no, it's a no-brainer. You get access, you just open the door to a whole new world, a whole new world of shows, okay? ExpressVPN, thank you so much for sponsoring, and I have an offer for you guys. As always, if you visit the special link right now, expressvpn.com slash tray, you get three extra months for free. That's right. You can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. Support the show, please. Thank you for listening. Um, watch what you want to watch and protect yourself with ExpressVPN at expressvpn.com slash Trey. Y'all, before we get into today's episode, um, Jake's here. Yo! And if you want an extra podcast episode per week with me and Jake, that's right, four extra podcasts a month, plus access to my private Instagram account where I post number four scene videos like Middle Schoolers and Quarantine is out now, only for Do Less Guest. Go to TreyKennedy.com slash DLG, D as in Do, L as in Less, G as in Guest. Sign up today, plus a portion of the, the proceeds go to charity. Yeah, it's awesome. There's bloopers, deleted scenes, uh, just tons of fun stuff that Trey forces me to edit against my will. Um, <laughs> so it's yes. for your entertainment. So if you are a fan of more fun content, uh, sign up. TreyKennedy.com slash DLG. On to today's episode. Welcome back, Correct Opinions, episode 37. Jake is here. Yes, Jake's back. Hello, everybody. Uh, yeah, I am a married man. We're we're post we're making this early because I'm on a mini honeymoon. Dude, tell them tell them the beautiful state you're going to Arkansas. Let's go. You gotta make it work these days. But uh, thanks for coming back. We got a good episode today talking about how I have a TikTok problem. We get a get a last update from the matchmaking mm. uh, and much more. And much much more. This is correct opinions. Roll music. Correct opinions. All right, we're going to get right to a quick update on a matchmaking. Uh, if you remember, you know, we have all, the, all these couples, and um, sorry to so many who messaged about Jake. Jake was busy. They're like, come on, let me talk to Jake. You didn't tell me that. Well, uh, sorry. I was busy. <laughs> this is how Trey's giving me a raise. He's yeah. just, you know, having 2,000 women email him, <laughs> and he'll decide one for me. A little yeah. Christmas present, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but we have... Addison, if you remember, Will and Addison were the one couple with a little bit of promise. They said they, they'd been talking on FaceTime. They were going to meet up. Addison says, says she has an update for her. So let me star 67, which still works, <laughs> which is funny. That's pretty cool. It is. All oh, right, her Addison. Number, her number is super easy to memorize. I am shouldn't. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. I know. Hello. Addison, it's Trey. How are you? Hey, Trey. I'm good. How are you? I am great. I know. We're just good buddies at this point. <laughs> I mean, honestly, here, though. Here I don't he know is why again. you're using Star 67. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, Jake's also here. What uh, up, Addison? Yeah. Hi. He's just hanging out. But, well, yeah, we want to get a quick yeah. update um, on you and Will. We know last last we talked, you guys had FaceTime some. Maybe we're going to meet in real life. Do, what What's the update? So, um, oh, no. <laughs> it's not good. Pause. There's a long pause. Okay, here we go. What, yeah, what, give it to us. Okay, so I am actually in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what kind of M. Night Shyamalan <laughs> twist? Okay, uh, do, do tell. So I, I mean, it was just a Tinder <laughs> match that, okay. I mean, honestly, I didn't think that would, 
especially given everything with the virus and not being able to really go out much, um, I went on a date and we are now together and it is very serious and very fast. Very um, serious. <laughs> Wait, so <laughs> but within the last few weeks, you yes. met Will on Correct Opinions and also a Tinder match and the Tinder match just swept you off your feet is what you're saying. Um, I met the Tinder match after, let's clarify, um, okay, after okay. our initial um, conversation with Will. Got it. I will say that. Um, okay. Yeah. So um, I gave an update for last episode and then I reached out to Will. Um, actually, he, he asked me, he was like, how'd the update go? And um, I just, I told him. I had no idea this was coming. It's kind of like I told one of my best friends um, who also said I was going to crush Trey's soul, which it sounds like I have. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, you know what? We were here to take down the Giants like Tinder and Bumble. I know. And, you can't compete with big and dating. We, we clearly have some work to do to catch up, I guess. But so, lesson learned. Um, I reached out to Will, and I just said I had no idea this was coming, let alone that it would be fast, this fast and this serious. Um, and let me just say, Will – was so kind and understanding and wow. I was so thankful for that. And I even said, um, to his response, I said, just the fact that you are so kind and understanding in your response shows your true character. And mm. I mm. am so appreciative of that. We um, stand well. <laughs> oh, if you are single and in Chattanooga, you are missing <laughs> out. Big time, let me tell you. Okay. Um, Spoken like someone who's just shoved someone down in the friend zone. He is just the sweetest boy. No, Any no. girl would be lucky to have him. No, no, we. Uh... Listen, I, I don't. I. Ha, I mean, I. I again. Um, I started to say this. My best friend. I told her it's kind of like um, Thomas Rhett and Laura Lauren, like when they are trying to get pregnant and they couldn't, oh. so they end up adopting, and then they ended up getting pregnant. Not to take anything away from adoption or anything, but... He's not only my, my friend, he's is, my son. He's my adopted son. <laughs> not, my point is, you know, here I have reached out this way, and then something else happens, and it just kind of falls in my lap. Mm -hmm. Well, we appreciate you coming on and being honest, honestly. Yeah, yeah and but, congrats uh, on having so this sorry, new guy Trey. in your lap. I'm so sorry to crush your soul. It's fine. Addison, we appreciate the update. Um, we stand Will, and we still stand you. I wish best of luck to oh, the Tinder guy. Next time we Thank do matchmaking, uh, yeah, we're going to have to get creative because we can't let these dating giants keep taking us <laughs> yeah, down. Some exclusivity <laughs> contract. Like, yeah. you will not get on other yeah, sites right. until we your contract to. is fulfilled yeah. with us. Well, I'll, I'll get my team on that making contracts. You, you have to stay off the sites for at least a week. While we do <laughs> oh, no. okay. Um, but, Sorry, I didn't read the fine print. <laughs> you know, thank you, Addison. You are you are a lot of fun. Thanks for participating. Uh, and best of luck sure. to you and the with Tinder the new guy. guy. Yeah. That's really exciting. We appreciate so it. Thank you. All right. Bye. See ya. <laughs> wow, that's that's hilarious. That is pretty funny. Can't make this stuff up. Um, shout out okay, to her though. For so... I feel like if I was her, I'd be like, okay, I'm just gonna ghost this guy. I'm so good for her for coming on and like, she's very telling the story. Yeah, yeah. Um, Wanted to keep us in the loop. Will's in the loop. Yeah. So, <laughs> dang it, Tinder. We. Th I thought I was like t I was like I'm, I've created something unique here. I'm but, onto something. But. Uh, Tinder still got us, so yeah. We're, like you said, we'll have, we'll have to create a contract for two weeks. S don't swipe. <laughs> okay, we're trying a to... no swiping contract. This is notarized by Dora oh, the Explorer herself. She oh. signs on to this. No swiping. Can you, can you hear us? You can hear just fine, right? The mics sound good. I'm asking you right now as we oh. record. <laughs> um, kind of. I mean, they're cool. quiet. Just but... every time. Okay, I'm gonna turn up the volume. Every time we do this, I I, d I triple check that I'm recording because the nightmares of. I've forgotten to record. You, you talk while I... Check, check. One, two, one, two. Trey's single right now. Oh, now we're loud. Okay, now I'm very loud. Too loud. Okay, middle. that's better. That is a little better. Guys, Correct Opinion Studios. The production value is high. High leather chairs. I got these uh, I got these new fun mics in mic arms. I saw a comment that said... New arms. I saw a comment that said, old mics sounded better. <laughs> No. It's, it's, Joe Rogan uses these. <laughs> this is like as he nice just, as you can buy. He's got like two hundred million dollars. What, <laughs> what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Joe Rogan uses these. <laughs> he said for everything. Yeah, dude. How does it feel recording this podcast as a single man? Uh, single as far as the government's concerned. Yep. yep. Recording as a single man. When you hear it, I'm a married man. Yeah. Um, Maybe you could just try to hypothesize. Give us a preview of what married life is like. Yeah. Um, if you're 
How have the first few days of marriage been, Trey? Yeah, this is pre-marriage Trey, but you're listening to Three Days Married Trey, and it's rude awakening. Yeah. Um, I'm strapped. No, I'm kidding. (laughs) Um, It's, I don't know, especially, it's, it is, it doesn't seem real, and I don't, yeah, it's, uh, it's, I'm just, I'm locked in for life. It's (laughs) wild, dude. But at the same time, it feels very chill, like. I've had a, a good, I've been best friends with the guy for 20 years and we'll be friends for our whole life. It's not like, and y'all have made it work. Yeah, we've made it work. It's the same thing, right? <laughs> um, have y'all ever stayed in a, like an Airbnb in Arkansas for three days? Uh, not just the two of us, but we actually have <laughs> okay. other people. That's um, good. Yeah. So that's great. That's happening. Uh, something else that's happening for me. I don't know if you see, I have a, a TikTok sweatshirt on. Is that, do I have like chocolate on it? A TikTok sweatshirt on, uh, TikTok tray has a problem. Yeah, it's a slippery slope, it's and you a are slippery sliding down. Slope. I have been on TikTok for a while, and I have about almost two million followers on TikTok. Very thankful for that. TikTok treats me well. They send me fun things like the sweatshirt, and I've built the following just posting the videos everyone sees on Facebook, YouTube, everything. But as of late, those videos have been getting a little less views, and in my quarantine boredom slash curiosity, I've done a few. Oh, our light just flickered. Correct Opinion Studios is falling apart today. Oh. We're fine. A, uh, I, I've been doing a couple of the dances. I'm a savage. Classy. Bouge. I've done four dances now. <laughs> I did the first one kind of like, it, it was when we were doing it was girl, in the middle Girls in of, Quarantine. Yeah, yeah. So like it was part of the bed. I was like, oh, I'll just post that because that'll be funny. Well, I'm like, girls be like, and it's that's a nice facade where I'm like, I kind of want to do no, this dance. No, I had but, to. Uh, oh, I'm just making fun of girls. And it, like four million views. It's like, okay. People were sharing it on their Insta stories. Okay. And so I did it. This I was like, let's see if it happens again. So I go, girls be like, and I did a different dance. Millions of views. <laughs> and I was like, oh no. And then I thought, just one more try. Third time, girls be like, millions of views. But this time all the comments were like, okay, this guy just wants to dance. They're catching on. Yeah, I was like, uh. so fourth video i put this because they tiktok sent me this i want to show some love so i'm like thanks for the merch tiktok and i did a dance and i gave a little bit of an ironic twist to it you know i'm not yeah. i'm not there like trying to be all sexy but i did a just full on did a dance you did the moves did the choreo and i did it a, as of like two days ago where we're almost hit a million views on it That's and cool. the other videos around it have like half the views <laughs> so i'm 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 being backed into a tiktok dance corner that i don't want to be in you're being backed into a corner and the entire way, you're you're keeping that five, six, seven, seven eight, eight as you back into yeah, the corner. Yeah, exactly. Huh. And then I hit this corner, <laughs> and I utilize it, <laughs> yeah. and I'm dancing in it. Ooh, ah. <laughs> and I'm just. This is what happens when you. This happened to me on Vine. This happened to me early on TikTok. You you forget real people are watching. Oh and, yeah. And when I when quarantine is slowing down, we get out in real life. Someone's gonna be like. Oh my gosh, there's Trey Kennedy, the TikTok dancer. He's the guy who dances on TikTok. And uh, people I'm with are going to be like, Excuse? What? Yeah. (laughs) That right there is going to cure you. Right. And I'm like, All you need is one person in public to be like, I love your dances on TikTok with Katie. And then you're going to be like, All right, I'm done. Yeah. Back to middle schoolers. This is a weird pivot. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) So that's my issue. Uh, you're You're on TikTok a little bit? I'm on TikTok a little bit. Yeah. Trey actually told me like a year ago, like, dude, you need to get on TikTok. And he was right. <laughs> but it's just weird. It just, it's weird. Kind of like what you're just saying. I just, yeah. I, I never want to get to the point where someone recognizes me in public. Like, oh yeah, I've seen your TikToks. That just feels unnatural to me. Yeah. It's like, you're the guy from that. You, you showed up at your high school's homecoming dance, right? That's where I know you. And it's yeah. like, I, there were other people there. They invited me. Um, <laughs> you know, here, I'm pulling up the comments on the third dance video where people okay. are like, okay. Top comment. Um, this is just a man imitating a woman to make to make fun of them, but he's actually just wanting to express his femininity without being ridiculed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I thought. The top comment. Other was com- be. Oh, I'm, that wasn't. This is the top top comment. He can't he can't hide the fact he just actually wants to really do these dances, but the character is a cover up. And I they com- know I commented back and said, "Please don't attack me." Like this. <laughs> uh, uh, the comment you. You can dance without mocking girls. It's still fun. You can just have fun. Um, comment. It's just okay if you would want to do the dance. Actually, 30-something man trying to TikTok. I, lo- I love across the internet how often I'm referred to as 30-something or even 40. Come that's on. Not, that's not cool. Yeah. 
You had one beard. Yeah, you're 15 years beard. older. I did. My first cut in quarantine, Katie was like, like it almost in like a negative way. She's like, you just you look so much younger. Like, Ew. It does. You you fresh shave it, man. You can you grow any facial hair? No, to no. the point where I was looking into last week. Actually, uh, I was on Groupon, which is probably not the place I should have been <laughs> for, looking for a laser hair removal for my face. I'm like, how much does this cost? Really? Yeah. You're over it. You're I'm so sick of shaving, dude. Because I grow enough to have to shave. Obviously, I'm a man. Still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no one in my family has facial hair. Okay, really, okay. it's just not in our genes. So I'm like, what if I just laser it off? You might and never have to shave again. You might look strange if you don't even because I can. You know, people you, you can't grow up, but like you see, there's like. Oh, that's a man who has like hair in his face, but then it's just, it's just smooth as a baby's bottom. Like, okay, what Girls is that? Girls love that. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, they love it. I'm I'm mainly nervous about potential roles in middle school Maddox, the executive producer, wanting me to grow a mustache or something. Yeah, that's true. where it would come back to bite that me. That is true. That's very true. Other yeah, than that, laser it. It's yeah. It's weird to get up. So you, you're like, not a hairy guy all around. <laughs> no back hair is what I'm saying. No, no chest hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, I do pretty I, well Yeah, you need to go right to... I'm not talking... <laughs> I'm going to go get a Brazilian on Groupon. <laughs> yeah. But it's a strange place to... Um, you know, I have chest hair like a normal man, and that's always... At, you know, in like college, that was weird. But in your 20s, like, yeah, well, you should have some chest hair as a man. Yeah. And then... But you get in your late 20s, and back hair starts sprouting. And that's when you start, you're just... And then your knees ache, and you're just... This is hitting me in the face. Yeah. It's too intense, and what do I... <clears throat> Anyways, laser, I laser gonna, hair removal could be good. I thought you were going to go through your body parts when you first then, said, like... like, uh, like I have the, chest hair like a man, big but, I have, hair. but I have back hair like, like a gorilla. <laughs> you could not <laughs> just, believe. No, just like a Knee hair like shoulders, a woman. Shoulders <laughs> look like a beluga whale. Nice and... <laughs> clean um that was a weird tangent. speaking of hair on my way over here this morning i passed by a great clips looked like best friday on uh dang it screwed up the joke just said best friday <laughs> dang it Before looked like you could imagine i was like that didn't feel right <laughs> looked like best buy on a black friday this great clips before we recorded he's like yeah hey, i went by great great clips it looks like a freaking best buy on black friday and i laughed so like, yeah say that on there and he just Butchered Looked it. like a goodbye on a best fry day. <laughs> that, that's, you want that's, fries? That's an underrated part of trying to do jokes on stage. If you you cannot you can't stutter speak. a word once. I've done that before in a punchline and just like said it wrong. It's gone. And you're like, yeah, you can't oh, backtrack. Yeah, <laughs> lost that one. Uh, it is here. I can just make fun of myself, but right. yeah, on stage okay. you have to. But okay, yeah, God. line out of the door at great clips. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. That's that's never happened. And at nine a.m. That we're recording this at yeah early yeah. in the morning. And it was one of those things where it's like, oh, that's kind of funny, but also like, I could use that. Great clips. Getting a little mullity in the back. I feel like, uh, I think I could say this. Well, I don't, I won't say, it was one of those haircut brands, but I won't say which one. Okay. Uh, when I say one of those, like, you know, one of the budget ones. <laughs> chain one ones. Like a but Spirit Airlines of hair. This was three years ago. And I could proudly say now that anything I sponsor, like I do enjoy and I believe in, but this was three years ago when I first started Instagram and I was trying to pay the bills. And I was not going to say no to a sponsor. <laughs> and it was a simple little video about one of these haircut places that just posted my Instagram when I my following was a lot smaller. And so part of the deal was, you know, you, hey, you got a coupon to kind of go do it and you should get one, you know, legally be like, here's my haircut I got, but you should actually get it from there. Okay. So I went and I'll never forget the woman who cut it because she was hilarious and really, really fun to talk to. And she, I remember she, she was this big old black woman, okay. which one of my favorites Yeah, in the service type <laughs> industry or like when you eat at a restaurant or something and they're just like, what are you eating, baby? <laughs> I just feel so warm and welcome. <laughs> what are you eating, Do you know baby? what I mean? Oh, no, exactly. A lot of people are like, I hate when strangers call me the like, Connie baby, sweetie. I, I eat it up. Yeah. A middle-aged old white woman, middle-aged black woman just saying, sweetie, what do you need? I love that. I do wonder what is the age will outgrow hun. Yeah, hun. Hey. So I uh Hey hun. She was cutting my hair. She was talking to me like this. I was loving it. And she uh she was like, "What do you do?" So it's kind of weird. I'm like I didn't even say like I'm I'm getting kind of paid to get this haircut and post a silly video about it. But you know, I try to explain it and she's like, "Okay, my two babies, they listen. They graduated." They never been arrested, and they both got good full time jobs. I, go ahead and make mama proud. That's what she said. I was, I was like, "This is amazing." Hey, okay, cool. I want this to end. <laughs> well, go ahead and make mama proud. <laughs> and but with all that being said, she 
mess my stuff up. Uh, <laughs> she well, she well, she did to me, and I think she does to everyone. But my hair is very fine and thin. Congrats! And you know the uh, no, you know those uh, those shears that like thin your hair. Oh yeah, they're kind of weird. Where it's like you look here, like are you cutting all my hair off? But it just uh-huh. I guess does some of it. Texturizing. Yeah, whatever. That she means. did it to my whole head. <laughs> Which full texture. Now I know if I ever get someone new, I'm like, don't do that to me because I have thin hair. It's already thin, and it made me. I remember I shot a video with like I can see my hair. I'm like, oh my gosh, am I? Is it, am I balding? Your mom so, comments below, not making mama proud. Yeah, yeah, full yeah. circle. Yeah, Dang exactly. it, Sheila. But the one thing she did to me that I still keep to the day, she like lined up my beard. Oh, you know, no white girls doing that. No, she no. lined me up so nice, and I, I. It's like it's been lined up to this day. She, wow. she just fixed me up. So shout out to that person. The the thinning was partly my fault. I should have spoken up, but uh, that was a great experience. Yeah. I'm sure she's listening. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Leave us yeah, a comment. I'm sure she is. Leave us a five-star review. I'm sure Thanks for the haircut, is. the lineup. Yeah. So you, you've you yet to get a haircut. You're, you're what, two, three months in? Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's time. It's How's time. It Which, how, how often do you get them usually? I don't think my hair grows that fast. Uh, and obviously I guess I don't care that much about it because one, I don't know how often I get them and two, I usually go to great clips mm-hmm. or just like, did any of my friends yeah. ever cut hair or were just willing to take a crack at it yeah, for the like, first time? I love haircuts and you're Googling like how to genetically modify your <laughs> yeah. head to not have hair. To so. never do this again. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's been, I probably go two or three months and yeah, it's probably time to get one. That is true. I feel like it's not changed much. Mine grows really fast. Yeah. I had someone one time, and this is a woman who was cutting my hair, uh, but this is also in a small town, Missouri. So who knows what they believe? Let let me just tell you what she said. Mm -hmm. She said, depending on if the moon is waxing or waning, depends on her, like it affects how quickly your hair grows back. (laughs) If someone's like, wow, man, hair's getting long. Well, it's waning. Waxing crescent. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) It's the crescent's waxing, clearly. Like, what? I have never forgotten that. I got told that in your college. Crescent? Yeah, probably. <laughs> like, whoa, I signed up for a yeah, haircut. Yeah, whoa. I didn't know it was one of those. <laughs> Laser hair removal on my crescent. <laughs> Waxing uh, my ra- crescent. Yeah, wax it. Don't wane it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> Yeah, that's someone's motto out there. Mm. But uh, yeah, I've always thought about Weird. that. Weird. Because I'm like, there, that doesn't seem possible, but the moon affects the tides. I'd, so yeah, I don't know. The moon does something. It does that's stuff. That's interesting. What else does it affect? Um, if (laughs) your personality, yeah, right, zodiac people. Whenever Katie is getting all agitated, is this? Is it the tie? Is it the moon? That reminds me too. Okay, so (laughs) I was uh, dating a girl back in the day, and she Uh, was like, "Congratulate me, please." Oh, good job. Uh, Thank you, thank you, thank you. (laughs) And this girl was awesome, totally normal, very smart. Everything was looking Great. good. You're, you're excited about it. Yes, it was awesome. And this is going to make it sound like we broke up because of this. But this mm-hmm. was like the first even hint of a red flag. She was like, oh, my, she's a teacher. She was like, my students were acting up this week. I mean, but I mean, it makes sense because there's a full moon. And I go, oh, no. Oh, wait, what, anyway, wait, well, wait, what? And yeah, what? Back up. What's up? And she's like, no, seriously, it's a thing. And she's and because my mom's a teacher, she's like, text your mom right now. And I was like, there's no way yeah. my mom. Oh, no. I was You're like, thinking, oh, please. Like, I, this mom I've known my whole life and loved. I don't I don't want to change my opinion of her. And, well, I'm so confident. I'm like, oh, I would love to text my mom yeah, and yeah. ask her about this full moon thing. So I text my mom. Hey, do kids ever act different on a full moon? Within seconds. Quickest my mom has ever texted me back. Oh, absolutely. I'm like, no, oh, no, mom, no. <laughs> Seriously. I've forgotten about all this until just now. So I don't know how they explain it, but to me it sounds crazy. Like what students act crazier on a full moon because their hair's growing so long? Is <laughs> yeah. it all connected? Yeah. What? You're some weird teacher wolf woman thing? <laughs> They're all in it moon. together. Be prepared, teachers. So there, I have never Googled it. I don't know how science justifies it, but the fact that like <laughs> two very important women in my life that I trust both backed it up without talking to each other. I'm like, there must be some legitimacy to this. It just seems I'm, look this I'm just not able to comprehend it. Kids' behavior and the full moon. If no. you know why, leave leave Trey a five star review and tell us why kids act differently on a full moon. The only significant finding was you get one percent less sleep during a full moon. That's what the the hmm. main type. Okay. Um, turns 1%. out turns out that no activity or behavior was significantly modified by the full moon. Hmm. So wow, what a weird like. 
I, I need to ask my teacher friends. Is that like a weird thing within the teacher world? They're in the break room. <laughs> Some like old soul in the break room. You know, kiddos. <sighs> he's you're stirring. Teaching. Yeah. He's stirring a cauldron. Yeah. Has an apple. The full moon is here this week. You know what that means? Like what? Um, yeah, it's so pretty. Like, keep an eye on those kiddos. He talks in old English. <laughs> <laughs> The come down upon us, the yes. full moon. It wanes and it waxes to its <laughs> fullest form. It wanes and waxes, and I anti vaxes yeah. my kids because yes. they act too crazy. We are crazy people. The full when the moon is full, and so is your children's d- disobedience. A- appetite for honoriness. Appet- yes. Beware. I didn't know I was going to talk this much. <laughs> okay. I just want to do that. Sorry. Yeah, I don't want to step on that. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the moon okay. segment of today's that's, podcast. Yeah, that's my, that's my wedding advice. If she's just like, what, what is wrong with you today? Why are you at full moon? Have you not seen? Yeah, full moon. You probably noticed my hair okay. going crazy. Get it. Yeah, my, my, my fingernails. I can feel them bursting out of my <laughs> cuticles. It's a full moon. Feel like uh, Edward Scissorhands over here yeah. when it's waxing. Yeah, like, just give me a break. <laughs> this is nuts. I remember Gosh. one time the the moon's already already waxing me. I don't need you <laughs> riding me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Try that. Get on my back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we all know how Express VPN protects your privacy and security online, right? But here's something you might not know. Listen up, okay? You can also use ExpressVPN to unlock movies and shows that are only available in other countries. Um, this this uh, worked for me well. One time I, I was out of the country, and I was like, oh my gosh, I got to watch my show on Netflix. And it was like, you, this country doesn't have access to it. I was like, what are you talking about? I found ExpressVPN, signed in, I could watch my show. Um, and then if you're America, you have certain shows that are only on in, you know, Germany, Canada, France, etc. You can use ExpressVPN to watch it all. Okay, um, I've been using this to watch uh, Doctor Hugh, Doctor Who. I don't know why I said Hugh, Doctor Who on UK Netflix. You can't have it in America. ExpressVPN gives you access. Uh, it's not just Netflix either. ExpressVPN works with any streaming service: Hulu, BBC, iPlayer, YouTube, you name it. There are hundreds of VPNs out there, but the reason I use Express ExpressVPN to watch shows is because it's so ridiculously fast. There's never any buffering or lag, and you can stream in HD, no problem. ExpressVPN is also compatible with all your devices, phones, media consoles, smart TVs, and more. So you can watch what you want on a personal device or on the big screen, wherever you are. So I have an offer for you guys. If you visit my special link right now at expressvpn.com slash tray, you can get extra, you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. Support the show, watch what you want to watch, and protect yourself with expressvpn.com slash Trey. That's expressvpn.com slash T-R-E-Y. Three months free. You know this, but for the people out there listening, back in the day, right when, maybe I've mentioned this on the podcast before, right when Tinder first came out back in the day, I used to just kind of troll people on it. I had a lot of fun. Um, I didn't take it as seriously as Addison. Let's just say that. Right, yeah. I was more there to crack yeah. some jokes. And Jeez. I still remember. <laughs> one, I met him. Uh, moved very fast. And, she, she ever said everything, but we're in love. Seriously, yeah, that was I'm, intense. we met very quickly and things are very serious. <clears throat> Impressive, Addison. Good okay. job. But, yeah. uh, I still remember one of the like exchanges I had, one of the screenshots. Um, I just sent a girl a message, want to hang out? And she said, when? And I said, midnight of the next blood moon. And she said, when is that? And I was like, you still want to hang <laughs> Let out me with check me? check my calendar. I was, like, that was a, I, was, I was like trying <laughs> yeah. to scare you off that or something. That was a classic, like, dude. Yeah, so when? That was a classic. Like, with, like I remember back in fifth grade, I used to mess with... Uh, me and my buddies, this is a classic, you know, 10 year old little fun thing. Mess with girls. Like, want to be my girlfriend? Like, Ooh, no. Mm-hmm. And I, I never forget the first time that backfired. And I, this girl who was kind of weird, I was like, hey, need a boyfriend? She's like, uh, let me ask my dad first. I was like, oh, oh. never told that joke again. <laughs> Which, and I, I wonder if she was serious or if she was just like, I'll show him. She called Yeah, let bluff. me ask my dad. She called my bluff. Let me ask my big dad. Oh, uh. M- remember when the size of your dad was a really big thing? Dude, yeah, like dad. Like ages like seven to nine. <clears throat> this it was the the size and you the got, fighting ability of your dad. You got a big dad. I got a big dad. Nice. <laughs> He's all right. Mine's yeah. bigger. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Let's I remember the first. Fight. I remember the first time I was wrestling with my dad. Mine's bigger. And I don't know what age I was. You know, probably a good 
I don't know, 14, 15, my first time I was messing, wrestling with him, and I, like, threw him off balance and almost shoved him over. Nice. And I remember, like, in, inside I just wanted to cry. I'm like, <laughs> no, I've passed him. I did. I've surpassed him. You know, it's just class. You're like, it's your dad. He should be able to just dominate you. But at some point, it changes, and I was just up. like, oh. It's, did you guys it wrestle? time. Quite a bit. The moon is full. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Do, yeah, man. We were like 19 and just, yeah. uh, you know, Come over got, college. Out, got out of the pool, shirtless, <laughs> wrestling. Uh, Winter yeah, break. I, I remember messing around quite a bit. Did you not wrestle your dad? Not really. The only thing I can remember, which is funny to look back at now with uh, a more fully functioned brain, when I was real small, like three, four, five, somewhere in there, I remember my favorite game to play with my dad was called Tree Stump. And oh. I'm looking back at it now. Sit on the tree stump, Jake, <laughs> yeah, for an hour. And I'm realizing, oh, my dad was just laying down watching TV. And I was probably the one who just named it tree stump. Yeah. And I would just, like, crawl all over him. And right. he was just, like, still. <laughs> and I was, like, I, I think I thought it was his favorite things. game. I was oh, like, yeah, oh, for let's sure. let's play tree stump. And he's, like, yeah. great. I can watch TV for an hour. Yeah, my dad used to um, say, like, get on the... Get on uh, the... He named his... His leg was a horse named Trigger. <laughs> He's like, hop on trigger. And, you know, we're like four and we'd like straddle his leg. And he'd be like, ding, 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 and we just hop up and down. Like, Whoa! You know, I'm sure it's exhausting. We probably would like, again, trigger, trigger. He's like, okay, I am tramping up. Get off of me. We're going to have to put trigger down. Yeah. <laughs> Where he broke, his leg is broken. Shoot it. <laughs> that made me laugh so much. When our most recent video we did, the 1920 versus 2020, just wind riders. Got a broken toenail. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put her down. Take him out back. Put him down. That was... I remember I had a buddy, uh, a friend of mine now in college, he, he grew up like out in the country and he's like, yeah, we had to put our dog down. And, you know, my dad just like shot it and buried it. And I was like, well, oh. that's what it was normal. And now it's like to have a memorial service. I'm scared to ask, but I, I guarantee my grandpa has shot 10 or more animals in his life. Oh yeah. Just, for sure. No problem. I, to be fair. Yeah. I don't, I, I'm not some dog obsessed person, but I don't, I wouldn't have the, the gall to just be like, well, he's old and dead. Just. Oh, that'd be no, traumatizing. I, I can't do it. I'm too, uh, I don't know, coddled. Too, too waning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Coddled. Full moon, maybe. If yeah, I got 1% moon. less sleep. Mm -hmm. 1% less sleep? Sorry, back on the moon thing. How much? What is that? <laughs> Five minutes? Yeah, I don't know. Out of eight hours? Dude, are you a big sleep fan? No. Really? Dude, uh, I've become a huge one. To I know point, I need it. Uh, to the point where I want it so much, I can't achieve it. So what does that mean? <laughs> so I, I'm kind of a neurotic person. I'm an insane person. I probably <clears throat> talked about this before. I read a book on sleep and how it's like mo the most important oh, yeah. thing. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I need eight hours every night. So I lay there. I'm like, okay, I'm, uh, I'm getting up at 7, 11, got to be asleep. 10.45, getting close. Getting uh, close, got to come on. <sighs> try really hard, try that. Oh, it's 11.05. Okay, what am I going to do? What am I gonna do? And then I'm up till midnight. So th I'm an insane person. But the other night, dude, I got eight and a half do you do you often wake up at the night or you're just you're out oh i'm out i'm good at sleeping that's yeah that's i'm not and so a lot of the time i'll just not not bad but i'll wake up like once in the night okay. which is kind of annoying you're like oh it's oh i woke up at 6 a.m go back to sleep okay um 5 a.m go back to sleep but uh la uh two nights ago dude eight and a half eight and a half like like dead asleep never woke up i mean i woke up at 6 45 and i was just like da, da, da. i mean it was amazing that's awesome good for you dude thanks i thought about have you ever heard of uh what are they called poly something poly meaning mini polyrhythmic something like that sleep cycles i uh, don't know when lockdown hit i thought about it i was like this is finally my time to try it there's like all these um oh the like the weird thing where you sleep like two hours every three hours or something yeah or, weird like cycles like every yeah. every four hours you take a 30 minute nap and that's it that can't be good for the full day there's no way yeah. in the long run it could be good for you that can't be good. but a lot of people have said like yeah i feel healthier now i have like you know i'm awake 20 hours a day i can get so much stuff done um my teeth are falling out. Uh, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I'm losing all yeah. the close relationships around um, me, but my, oh, I'm so productive. My facial hair is falling out, so that's <laughs> saving me some money. On yeah, laser. if anyone knows any like cool, like natural ways to get your facial hair to fall out that don't cost fifteen hundred dollars, yeah, let me you, know. Can Meth? You, would you ever try waxing your face? Be ah! uh, brutal. I waxed my back back once. Yourself? No. Yeah, I guess. someone else did. Like a, like so a, this is kind of all funny. the cool ways where dads yep. rip out the teeth of their kid. Like yeah, you had that with like the doorknob. Yeah, just rip it, take waxing your back. <laughs> waxing your back. No, uh, a buddy of mine's mom is like a esthetician. I believe is the correct term. Oh, she rides horses. So they're like, hey, we'll give you the, the discount. Okay. Uh, because so it was forty bucks with a discount. I don't know. I don't know if it's eighty bucks, hundred bucks, but 
seems like a lot. Congrats. But I am such a wuss. It wasn't, the ripping wasn't as bad as how hot I felt like the wax was. Oh, really? So they spread this wax that's warm. And I'm, I'm bad. I've never never liked hot tubs for whatever reason. Can't do the hot stuff. Kind of with you there. I'm popular yeah. opinion. Hot tubs are a little overrated. I, yeah. I get a hot tub. I'm like, this is painful. <laughs> and I have to like, yeah, settle into this boiling pot until I'm like, basically my skin doesn't feel it anymore. I'm like, oh, this is nice, cool. I guess. Not a fan. Yeah. So I was like, oh, ah, ah, could you like make it less hot? She's like, wolf, not really. It's like it won't work. So yeah, it was, I'll never do that again. And it was kind of worth it. I mean, it was like really smooth for like <clears throat> two weeks. You know, it just grows back. Yeah, I, I'm with you there. Like, even I've gotten um, haircuts. This is uh, also just want to say really bad. My, ha- my back's not that hairy. It was more <laughs> just like something fun to try. Okay, I feel like I'm painting a picture that I'm uh, silverback. Some sort of werewolf. It's, Hugh Jackman. It's a, it's a light feathering. It's yes. nice. It's nice. It's nice. I've okay, seen your back. Great back. <laughs> Love his back. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, one time I went to Sports Clips instead of Great Clips and, you know, got the full <clears throat> MVP experience. They shampoo your hair and then they put this hot towel on you. I didn't like that. Have you ever got the hot face towel? Well, every I time like I have to go like, uh, yeah, just like really cool it down. Oh, and, then, okay. and then half the time they put it on, I'm like, <laughs> so, but when they get it, you know, they really give it a second, then put it on. It's nice. Then it's nice. So yeah, yeah maybe just get ahead of it. Puppy is steaming. Right. And then, I mean, it fully covers your face. They leave a little hole for your nose. You look yeah. like a uh, Freddy Krueger, essentially. Yeah. And yeah, it's like your face is on fire. And yeah. You're just taking quick breaths yeah. out of your nose, trying to like keep up with this. Oh gosh, this, this is so relaxing. It's like you put a, a you oh, like you bit a pizza roll in your nose and you're like, <laughs> yeah, hot, hot. Dude. Get it out of here. I, uh, yeah, I'm not great at just like sitting there and relaxing. So I got a mess. We went to a uh, resort in Mexico with a group of friends. And if this is in hindsight, complete idiots, like they're usually the massage is usually $212. But now the, if with, it comes with the, the rooms, they're only $50. Oh, oh what a deal. We got to, oh, and muy bien. I mean, I've gotten two or three massages in my life. Like, Ones with like an actual person that are quite nice, but I feel like I've given up on them because I think I've done three and they've all been wildly different experiences. I think it just, yes. you have to find a good one, but I've done two where I was just stressed for an hour laying there. Like this is not <laughs> relaxing. This the, at the, the resort, you know, the, you tell these people weren't trained at all. They're just like r- rubbing me with their hands all over. I'm like, I don't really like this. Does that feel good? Yeah. Great. And then I, the second experience I went with in college, uh, went with a friend who's like, we got to go to this place. It's a hole in the wall. It's great. It's like $30. It's one of those. You're just in an open room and it's uh, a community ma- massage. Yeah, it was strange. And I, and a man was going to massage me. Now, you know, I, I don't yeah. know. I don't know what you think about that, but I just, it's tough for me. I don't really want a man rub me down. I, I struggle with a stranger at all rubbing me down. It's pretty bizarre, but the feminine I'd, energy would be nice. Yeah. It's just so he's, he's getting after it and he's like, caressing my hands and fingers and stuff and i was just just like stressed the whole time and but i had one good experience where this it was a this is what you want right i don't it was a older heavy set grandma like figure what you want with baby strong hands <laughs> and she was just like oh there's a knot here and she it was magical but, <laughs> strong um, hands but yeah i'm like it's it's such a it's such a strange environment when you, you just go in this room, you know, the nicer ones. You go in this room, just you two, door shut, very, like, almost romantic vibes. And the yeah. stranger's rubbing me head to toe. Like, I I don't want a stranger to hardly, you know, no stranger I'd want to come up and, like, give me a hug. Yeah. But we, hey, I'll pay money for you to rub every inch of my body. <laughs> Strange. I mentioned that yesterday. I don't know if you saw my Instagram story, but Pi5 had a sign that said, try to avoid hugging. And I was like, is this an issue? <laughs> yeah. Are people like, oh, there's pizza. You got cheese. You got hug me. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. <laughs> Come here, sugar. Come here. Come here. Have you ever got a deep tissue massage? Uh, yeah, I forgot. I just remembered one other massage experience. This was back. I got some weird. It was from Vine. I got some weird like care package where I had a a discount to some like massage app. It okay. would connect you to masseurs. Is that the name? in your I area <laughs> and uh so this i was Monsieur? like yeah <laughs> i don't know if that was it and uh masseuse yeah i think that's Monsieur it Madame. <laughs> thank you Madame. it connects you to this french uh, yeah masseuse. it's crazy but so i did this and i was clueless i was like 20 and i pull up clearly to a home 
And I'm like, uh, and I think I call her like, yeah, come on in. And this woman just did it out of her house. It was just like a room in her house dedicated to this. Kind of like and I was Robert like, Kraft. Yeah, thing. I was like, this is yeah, this is weird. But I think it was deep tissue because she just it was a combination of pleasure and pain that I've never experienced. And the <laughs> the IT bands, dude. Yeah. When people, I don't care what you do. The, I, these things on the side of your thigh, she just got after them, and it was painful. But I left there light as a feather. See, you ever gotten one? People talk about it that way. So I was like, I, I want to try this. I want to feel this light as right. a featheredness. And I tried a deep tissue massage and I really didn't like it. I tried to like, I, I went in there wanting to like it. Yeah. But at one point I was like, I'm going to ask him if he's using an ice pick on my leg. Yeah. <laughs> because there's no way this yeah. is his hand. Yeah. He you is know, in yeah, no my leg. No sledgehammer, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I, I think your jackhammer's on. Yeah. I, yeah. There's no way this could just be your thumbs pushing into my leg. It is amazing. Yeah, and it was a guy, and it was an open room. Pretty much all the the worst things of your experiences was this little rundown place. It was thirty bucks, and yeah, yeah. I go light tissue. Mm-hmm. I know. So just yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kind of touch me. I know. I don't I, dig uh, in. <clears throat> it's a, yeah. I I don't know if I, I had to embrace. Also, I don't like pedicures. You ever got a pedicure? Got one once. Too ticklish. Yes, didn't enjoy anything really to do with my toenails. Right. But I loved that they would like. They kind of massage your calves afterwards. Right. That that's was the point. Nice. I was like, could you just do that for the light whole tissue. time? Yeah, light tissue. That's my rap but name. It's, it's kind of like that. Or have you ever had to put on makeup for some kind of Yep, done show that too. Yeah, like it's this. weird. <laughs> but, but <laughs> massage, I, pedicure, makeup. Yeah, we're, we got them all. But it's because they try to put makeup on my eyes. And I'm like, uh, oh, uh, the uh, eyes, uh, dude. And they're like laughing at me. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't have to practice with this. Yeah, tranquilize me. So women, you know, they're used to do getting in their eyes all the time. They're used to filing their nails like when they when they take the file to my toenails i'm like oh my, oh my god <laughs> it's like torture you trying to saw my toes off i don't know how uh, so yeah i don't they're cutting and sawing and none of i'm just kind of cringing the whole time and then they start messing with my feet and then i'm like oh that tickles they're like remo- it's kind like of putting my cuticles back which yeah. doesn't hurt it just feels weird yeah so i was with some family recently and we're like we're going to take Grammy to get her nails done. And she wants to spend time with her grandkids. So we'll all go. And all, all my sister, I'll, I'm the only boy. So we're there. And typically I would have been like, yeah, I'll join. But I was like, you know what? I got to face the facts. I don't, I don't want, I don't enjoy this. Yeah. So I sat there and I didn't get one. I want to enjoy it. I think it's just probably your first time doing anything like that. It's just a little weird. It is. The makeup thing too. Yeah. I did not anything around the eyes. I don't know how girls do mm. that. Especially themselves. Like there's, uh, I've seen this in movies. So I don't know oh, how yeah. real this is. But girls like doing their makeup while driving. Like oh, an yeah. eyeliner while driving? Yeah, I'd be blind if I tried that. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. That's so impressive. <clears throat> it really is. Good for you guys. Girls are so impressive. Speaking of, uh, we'll, we'll end on this. I, I had this note and this segue. Um, I, I, this is just a random story, but I thought of girls. I Growing up, you know, you know, high school stuff, you played dodgeball, co-ed dodgeball. Played it. Played it. And uh, this story came to mind when you... You tell me you've been in the scenario. You're on the winning team. There's five yeah. people. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I've been there. End of story. Yeah. <laughs> Full moons out. No. <laughs> there, you're just like five of you, and there the one person left is this one little cute girl, and so everyone's kind of loving her to him. Yeah, making sure she has a good time. Her. You know, there's like no one wants to be the person who's just gonna take out this sure. sweet girl. So it's dragging on. It's dragging on, and I'm always kind of. I don't know if this is a good quality, but I'm like, okay, we need to get this over with. So I was like, I'm just going to go send send one with some heat, hit her hit her in the shin, let her know that we're capable of more. Right. But we'll just we'll just get this over and like no one's no one's hurt. It's fine. So I I just go up there and just kind of shoo, floats on me face shot. <laughs> Boo! Oh, she's fighting back tears. I go up to her. I go up to her. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She gives me an evil eye like I've never seen. And the re- this was a, like a church jam. The rest of the week, anytime I encountered her. I tried like one more time to be like, hey, I'm so sorry. And she she literally did like a, <laughs> and would walk off. I mean, she hated me forever. One dodgeball to the face is all it takes. I mean, it was, I threw it pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, you haven't seen me throw a dodgeball. Yeah. <laughs> um, those are never fun moments. Or another time we were, I think this was also a, like a church camp, group of girls playing volleyball. They're talking trash. We played volleyball. You can beat us. And, you know, I'm a competitive guy. I've been playing some volleyball. Like, yo, like, I got oh, we'll, back here. We'll show you. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> you see that lower back patch? It's coming your way. I haven't waxed in a minute. Yeah. So I got set up, and I'm like, I'm just going to slam this one. Yeah. But I have no aim over it. Face shot. On a grudge. I get booed again. Why am I doing this? 
I have a long-standing. Uh, you, 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 or you ever have those moments where you? I didn't even do this. Katie wants is horrible. Where you are messing around, or maybe you try to like throw something at your buddy, and the second it leaves your hand, you're like, "Oh shoot!" There's a female stranger behind him. Yeah. Oh please, don't no, please don't. And then it hits him, and you're like, <sighs> "You know that moment? It's yeah. just a oh, moment yeah. of hopelessness." Yeah. Yeah. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so those were fun stories it's dangerous to yeah in, in that situation especially the volleyball because that's like the women's sport is right, volleyball right every girl's played volleyball right so you feel this competitiveness like i have to prove like no i'm yeah. athletic i can compete in your sport yeah. and i've been playing it for a few months like constantly trying to like spike it as hard as i can and never had i hit anyone with it and when you know the, the one time, time we play some girls yeah right between the eyes meet the parents style ben stiller yeah. bloody nose in the pool yeah no one's happy. No good. No, no one's good. happy. No one's happy. No one likes that. Real quick, speaking of sports, Trey and I saw each other in public last night. Doesn't happen that often. Yes. Saw each other on the pickleball court. <sighs> pickleball. It, I'm, I didn't tell you this. We play. So pickleball, if you don't know what it is, because when I told people, I just got back from pickleball. Most of them didn't know what it was. What? Which is, it's a new, I think, it's, I feel like it's really gaining popularity. It's been around for a while, it's but like, it's popular now. Yeah. Like, split popular the now. difference between like ping pong and tennis. Perfectly split it. Yeah, perfectly split it. Smaller than a tennis court, miniature net. You have these paddles, like a wiffle ball type of thing. Yes. Um, and you play two on two, so it's perfect right now because I, I was definitely worn out and like running a lot, but it's not like overly exerting. Right, like you could play for three hours yeah. and still be fine. Which is what we did. We were yeah. the last ones in the court. It That's was 10.30. Awesome. We played. Uh, and yeah, we had, it was all our first times, but by the end of it, like we were getting some really fun rallies. Yeah. Well. But yeah, we... It's hilarious because you're obsessed with it. I'm so into it. And I show up. I was like, yeah, I think we'll play tonight. And I show up and you're like, hey, Trey. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> yeah. So that's our new thing, I guess. Just, yeah. See and you on the courts. Everyone there was in high school or oh, yeah. under 18. So yeah. and we were just tw- these like group of 28 year olds just like, yeah, <gasps> just talking trash. To I each love other, the trash. Getting talk. mad. Yeah. Go pick it up. Yeah. Pick it up. Blue shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like my best friend wearing a blue shirt. I just acted like I didn't know him. <laughs> You're a little too much for your blue shirt. <laughs> Not calling your friend by his name. Yeah, it's, it's so a great trash talk move. Hey, hit it a blue shirt. He's the weak link. <laughs> I love trash talk. It's being so mean to my friend. <laughs> oh, it's great. Uh, next time we play, I don't think I've told you about this. Uh, hopefully, yeah, next time we're both up there, there's a guy who's been showing up. He's this uh, older Ukrainian gentleman named Ola. Who's Ooh. been playing with us? He's like a sensei. Yes, the wise the, old janitor. He only comes out on the full moon. <laughs> <laughs> Starts howling yeah. from miles away. Uh, Ola must be coming. Here he comes. <laughs> yeah, but he's awesome because he'll fire back the trash talk every now and then. He's got this weird, like Dwight Schrute, like ping pong serve that he does. You're not good. <laughs> I don't know what ethnicity is he. Uh, Ukrainian. You said that, yeah. Yeah. I don't so know he's accent. like, uh, you'll have room for one more. Yeah. And I was like, yes, dude, yeah. you're on my team, so you'll meet him. You'll yeah. meet him. Glad Next blood moon. Ukraine. Next blood moon. Yeah. He'll be out there. Nice. Yeah. Um, hey, but good hilarious. luck getting married, dude. Thank you. Thank I hope you. it goes well. We're here. I hope so, too. Um, thanks for coming on the podcast. Of you course. have a podcast? Yes. Ghost awesome. Runners. Ghost Runners podcast. Check it out. One if you guys word. like listening to podcasts. Yep. Him, him and another guy. Funny guys. Ghost Runners podcast. And also, we... You know, correct opinions is still coming at you every week, but then Jake and I are also doing a bonus podcast, the Do Less Guest podcast, coming out once a week. If you want to hear that every week, four up, four extra episodes a month. Do treykennedy.com slash DLG. Thank you guys so much, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Peace. Bye. Correct opinion.